Spiritual knowledge has always intrigued humanity whispered about in hushed books and passed down through secret societies, mystical traditions, and esoteric texts. It is wisdom that promises enlightenment and empowerment, yet is often shrouded in mystery protected by those who fear its misuse or the chaos it could unleash upon the uninitiated. But why should such knowledge be hidden and what truths lie within its guarded pages? The journey to uncover spiritual knowledge begins with a simple yet profound and realization the world is not as it seems. Brace yourself for now. We venture into the dark unknown of the hidden knowledge that elites have kept secret for millennia. Reality is an illusion beneath the surface of our everyday experiences lies a deeper truth, one that is interconnected, dynamic and profoundly spiritual. And this truth is that reality itself is an illusion. This concept is prevalent in Eastern philosophies such as Hinduism and Buddhism, which speak of Mia, the illusion or veil, that obscures the true nature of reality, according to these traditions, the P. Physical world is a transient and deceptive reflection of a deeper, unchanging spiritual reality. Enlightenment, then, is the process of seeing through the illusion and awakening to the truth. This concept suggests that the physical world we interact with daily is not the ultimate reality, but rather a temporary manifestation, a fleeting illusion in Hinduism. The concept of Maya encapsulates this idea perfectly. Maya is often described as the cosmic illusion that makes the transient world appear real. According to this belief, the material world is constantly changing, an ever-shifting landscape that distracts us from the eternal. Unchanging truth. Enlightenment, therefore, involves seeing through this illusion, recognizing the impermanence of the material world, and connecting with the eternal spiritual essence that lies beyond the transient nature of reality is also reflected in Buddhist teachings. The Buddha taught that all phenomena are impermanent, a doctrine known as anicca. Everything in the physical world world is in a state of constant flux arising and passing away. This understanding leads to a profound acceptance of Chan, G, and an appreciation for the present moment it encourages a detachment from material possessions and transient pleasures, guiding us towards a deeper, more enduring sense of fulfillment. Western philosophy, too, grapples with the concept of reality's transience. The Greek philosopher Heraclitus famously said, No man ever steps in the same river twice, for it's not the same river, and he's not the same man. This metaphor illustrates the constant state of change in the universe and within ourselves. It suggests that clinging to the illusion of permanence is futile and true wisdom lies in embracing the flow of life. This idea is echoed in the writings of modern mystics and philosophers. Alan Watts, a British philosopher known for his interpretations of Eastern thought, often spoke about the illusion of separateness and the continuous flow of existence. He encouraged a perspective that views life as a dynamic, interconnected process where understanding and acceptance of change lead to inner peace in the realm of quantum physics. The transient nature of reality is further substantiated. Quantum mechanics reveal as a world where particles exist in a state of potentiality until observed where the very act of observation influences the outcome. This fluid uncertain nature of quantum particles mirrors the ancient wisdom that reality is not as fixed and solid as it appears. It suggests a universe that is far more dynamic and interconnected than our everyday experiences would lead us to believe. Understanding the transience of reality can be both liberating and unsettling. It challenges our deeply held beliefs and compels us to reevaluate our priorities. Is, however, it also off. There's a path to profound spiritual awakening by recognizing the impermanent nature of the material world. We can shift our focus towards the eternal truths that underlie our existence. This shift allows us to live more fully in the present moment, to appreciate the beauty of life's fleeting experiences, and to cultivate a deeper connection with our inner selves and the universe. Many mystics and spiritual teachers have emphasized the import of embracing the transience of reality. Rumi, the Persian Sufi poet, beautifully captured this idea in his poetry. He wrote, This 
Moment is all there is this simple yet profound statement encourages us to let go of our attachments to the past and future, to immerse ourselves in the present moment, and to find peace and joy in the here and now. The teachings of Taoism also resonate with this understanding. Laozi, The ancient Chinese philosopher and author of the Tie Ching spoke of the Tuao as the natural order of the universe, a flow that we must align with to live harmoniously. He taught that by accepting the transient nature of reality and embracing change, we can achieve a state of a four. Tless action or Wu Wei where our actions become spontaneous. And in harmony with the towel in the African spiritual tradition of Ubuntu, there is an emphasis on the interconnectedness of all life. This philosophy teaches that we are all part of a larger whole, and our individual actions have a ripple effect on the entire community. By understanding the transient nature of our existence and our interconnectedness, we can cultivate a sense of compassion and responsibility towards others. As we delve deeper into these esoteric teachings, we begin to see that the E.T. transient nature of reality is not something to be feared, but rather a fundamental aspect of our spiritual journey. It reminds us that life is a precious, ever-changing gift and that true fulfillment comes from embracing the flow of existence and aligning ourselves with the eternal truths that lie beyond the illusion in the realm of Western philosophy. Plato's allegory of the cave offers a similar perspective in this famous parable. Prisoners are chained inside a dark cave where they can only see shadows cast on the wall by objects behind them illumi. Nated by a fire, these shadows represent the prisoners perception of reality one day. A prisoner is freed and discovers the outside world, realizing that the shadows were mere illusions and that true reality lies beyond the cave. This allegory underscores the importance of questioning our perceptions and seeking the deeper truths that lie beyond the surface. As you dig deeper into the world of esoteric teachings, you encounter the idea that consciousness itself plays a fundamental role in shaping reality quantum physics with its counterintuitive discovery. S. has brought this idea to the forefront of modern. Science, the observer effect, for example, suggests that the act of observation can influence the outcome of a quantum event, implying that consciousness and reality are intimately connected. This resonates with ancient mystical teachings, which have long held that the mind and spirit are powerful tools for manifesting and shaping our experiences, the wisdom of mystics. Yet spiritual knowledge is not just about abstract concepts or philosophical musings. It also encompasses practical wisdom that can be a applied to everyday life. This is where the teachings of mystics and sages come into play. Mystics like Rumi and Laoi have shared profound insights into the nature of existence and the path to spiritual awakening. Rumi, the Persian Sufi poet, often spoke of the journey of the soul and the importance of love and inner transformation. He wrote, The wound is the place where the light enters you. This simple yet profound statement highlights the transformative power of suffering and the potential for growth and enlightenment that lies within our deepest chali. Nes Rumi also beautifully captured the idea of self-self, growth. When he wrote yesterday, I was clever. So I wanted to change the world today, I am wise. So I am changing myself. This simple yet profound statement underscores the transformative power of self-awareness and inner growth. By focusing on our inner development, we can create ripples of positive change that extend far beyond ourselves. Lao Hua, the ancient Chinese philosopher and founder of Taoism, emphasized the importance of living in harmony with the Tou, the underlying principle of the universe. His T, Qing's encourage simplicity, humility and compassion guiding us to align with the natural flow of life and to cultivate inner peace as you absorb these teachings, you begin to realize that spiritual knowledge is not about acquiring secret powers or gaining control over others. Rather, it is about understanding and aligning with the fundamental truths of existence. It is about recognizing the interconnectedness of all things, embracing the unity of mind, body, and spirit, and awakening to the divine essence within. However, the path to uncovering esoteric teachings is...
Not without its challenges, it requires a willingness to question deeply held beliefs, to confront uncomfortable truths, and to navigate the shadows of ignorance and illusion. This journey is not for the faint of heart, but for those who are committed, committed to seeking truth and enlightenment. In many ways, the quest for spiritual knowledge mirrors the hero's journey, a narrative archetype that appears in myths and stories across cultures. The hero often an ordinary person is called to. Adventure faces, trials and tribulations, receives guidance, e from wise mentors and ultimately returns transformed. Bearing the wisdom they have gained this journey represents the inner path of spiritual UAL awakening and the discovery of hidden truths in today's world. The search for esoteric teachings is more accessible than ever, thanks to the wealth of information available through books, online resources, and spiritual communities. Yet it is important to approach this quest with discernment and humility, recognizing that true wisdom is not about hoarding secrets, but about embodying and living the truths we yan see over. But that's just the tip of the iceberg, it's now that. We delve into the secrets that the world's elites have kept hidden for centuries. Have you ever heard about the microcosm and the microcosm, the macrocosm and the microcosm? We begin by learning the hermetic principle of as above, so below as within. So without this axiom suggests that the macrocosm, the universe and the microcosm, the individual, are reflections of each other and that by understanding one, we can gain insight sights into the other. This means that the patterns, structures, and dynamics we owe, be serve in the vast cosmos are mirrored within our own inner worlds. By understanding this relationship, we can gain profound insights into both the external universe and our personal experiences. It is a call to look beyond the physical and the obvious, to explore the hidden dimensions of existence. This secret knowledge is attributed to Hermes Tris a Istus, a mythical figure revered in esoteric traditions, and it serves as a bridge between the physical and spiritual realms, offering insights into the interconnectedness of all things. Basically, our inner state day aptly influences the outer world just as the movements of celestial bodies can impact life on Earth. Our thoughts, emotions, and intentions can shape our reality. This idea resonates with the teachings of many ancient philosophies and spiritual traditions, which emphasize the power of the mind and spirit in manifesting and shaping our experiences once more. We turn to ancient philosophers for more knowledge on this concept. Plato explored this concept through his theory of forms. He believed that the physical world is a reflection of a higher, more perfect, real, i.e. according to his teachings, the material world we perceive is merely a shadow of the true ideal forms that exist beyond our sensory experience. In Eastern philosophies, the interconnectedness of the macrocosm and microcosm is a recurring theme in Hinduism. The concept of Atman and Brahman encapsulates this idea. Atman refers to the individual soul, while Brahman represents the ultimate universal reality. The realization that Atman is Brahman, that the individual soul is one with the universal spirit, is a central tenet of Hindu spiritual duality. This understanding dissolves the illusion of separation revealing the unity and interconnectedness of all existence. Similarly in Buddhism, the principle of interdependent origination, prasamut, teaches that all phenomena arise in dependence upon other phenomena. This means that everything in the universe is interconnected and nothing exists in isolation. By understanding this intricate web of interdependence, we can cultivate a deeper sense of compassion and empathy, recognizing that our actions have far-reaching consequences delving even deeper. We turn to the Kabbalis, tick teachings of Jewish mysticism where the concept of the tree of life represents the interconnectedness of the divine and earthly realms. The Tree of Life is a symbolic map of the universe, depicting the flow of divine energy through various levels of existence. By meditating on the Tree of Life, practitioners can gain insights into the divine structure of the cosmos and their own spiritual journey. But you might be surprised to learn that all of these insights have also been studied by science in the realm of quantum physics. Modern Science 
echoes the ancient wisdom of as above, so below. The observer effect A. Fundamental concept in quantum mechanics suggests that the act of observation influence influences the outcome of a quantum event. This implies that consciousness plays a crucial role in shaping reality, aligning with the hermetic understanding that our inner state influences the outer world quantum entanglement, further illustrates this interconnectedness, showing that particles can instantaneously affect each other regardless of distance. This phenomenon challenges our conventional understanding of SPA. See in time hinting at a deeper underlying unity. So what are the practical implications of this principle? We can learn that by cultivating inner harmony and aligning our thoughts, emotions, and intentions with our highest aspirations, we can influence the outer world in positive ways. This principle encourages us to look within to understand our inner landscape and to recognize the power we hold in shaping our reality. It teaches us that by healing and transforming ourselves, we can contribute to the healing and transformation of the world around us, the hidden prin. Cyple of As Above, So Below also invites us to explore the mysteries of the universe with a sense of wonder and curiosity. It encourages us to see the connections between the stars in the sky and the cells in our bodies, between the cycles of nature and the rhythms of our lives. By embracing this holistic perspective, we can cultivate a deeper appreciation for the beauty and complexity of existence, and by mastering this knowledge, we'll quickly discover that reality itself is transient reach. Soul growth, having explored the profound interconnectedness encapsulated in the hermetic principle of as above. So below, we naturally transition to the deepest level of hidden knowledge available, keep watching now, because what we'll reveal now might cause this video to get taken down. So, the journey of the soul, evolving through experiences and insights, is the very heart of our existence. It is through understanding and embracing the growth of our soul that we unlock deeper dimensions of our being and move closer to enlightenment. This is called soul growth. Soul growth is the process of expanding our consciousness and evolving spiritually. It involves learning from our experiences, overcoming challenges, and continuously striving to become our highest selves. This journey is unique to each individual, yet it is a universal path that connects us all at its core. Soul growth is about transformation. Just as a caterpillar transforms into a butterfly, our soul evolves through various stages of growth, shedding old patterns and beliefs to embrace new levels of understanding and awareness. This transformation often requires us to confront our shadows and face the parts of ourselves that we may prefer to ignore. I. T. is through this process of self-examination and inner work that we can truly grow and evolve. Ancient philosophers and mystics have long emphasized the importance of soul growth. Socrates, the Greek philosopher famously stated, Know thyself. This simple yet profound directive underscores the importance of self-awareness and introspection in the journey of soul growth. By turning our gaze inward and seeking to understand our true nature, we can cultivate a deeper connection with our soul and the divine. In Eastern traditions, the concept of soul growth is d eply embedded in the teachings of karma and reincarnation according to Hindu and Buddhist beliefs, the soul undergoes multiple lifetimes, each providing opportunities for growth and learning. The experiences and actions of each lifetime contribute to the soul's evolution, shaping its journey towards enlightenment. This cyclical process of birth, death, and rebirth emphasizes the continuous nature of soul growth, highlighting the importance of learning from each experience and striving for higher levels of consciousness. African spiritual traditions also offer valuable in L. Sites into the concept of soul growth in many African cultures, the idea of Ubuntu often translated as I am, because we are emphasizes the interconnectedness of all beings and the importance of community in the growth of the soul. This perspective teaches us that our spiritual evolution is not an isolated journey. 
but one that is deeply intertwined with the lives and experiences of others by recognizing our connection to the broader community and contributing to the collective good we can foster our own soul growth and support the growth of others in more obscure b Eliefs, such as those found in the Gnostic tradition's soul growth, is seen as a process of awakening to hidden knowledge and divine truth. Gnosticism teaches that the material world is an illusion and that true reality lies in the spiritual realm. The journey of the soul involves awakening to this truth and transcending the limitations of the physical world. This perspective encourages us to seek deeper spiritual insights and to align our lives with higher truths. Modern psychological studies also shed light on the process of soul growth research in positive psycho. Logi suggests that personal growth and self-actualization are fundamental to our well-being. Psychologist Abraham Maso's Hierarchy of Needs highlights the importance of self-actualization, the realization of our full potential in achieving a fulfilling and meaningful life. This concept aligns with the idea of soul growth, emphasizing the importance of striving towards our highest selves and continuously seeking to improve and evolve historical events to reflect the journey of soul growth on a collective level. Consider the transformative periods of social and cultural awakenings such as the Renaissance or the Civil Rights Movement. These eras were marked by profound shifts in consciousness driven by individuals and communities striving for greater understanding justice and enlightenment. These collective journeys mirror the individual process of soul growth, highlighting the power of collective transformation in shaping our shared reality, achieve mental presence. Cultivating a practice of soul growth and inner awareness opens up a deeper dimension of our being. This dimension is where peace, joy, and contentment exist independently of the constant fluctuations of our thoughts. Negative thoughts are like decommanding guests. They require your attention and identification, thriving on your unconsciousness, to continue their presence in your life. They operate much like mental infections, taking over parts of your mind and even extending their influence to groups, nations, and entire movements. Much like a contagion, our world often feels overwhelmed by these mental infections, creating a warped sense of reality. Simply setting good intentions isn't enough to change all oh, or thoughts without a shift in consciousness these mental infections can lead to dire consequences. True wisdom lies in recognizing that real freedom comes from moving beyond the realm of thought. Positive thoughts are like helpful guides, but true. Liberation lies in the silence that exists beyond the noise of the mind. Understanding this concept helps us navigate the complexities of our minds and societies with clarity, avoiding the traps set by mental viruses as these mental viruses dissipate. Sanity begins to reassert itself. It may not be perfect, but it has a return to a clearer state of mind compared to the deep. Unconsciousness that the mental viruses brought those who succumb to mental viruses see the world through a skewed lens influenced by a particular way of thinking. The internet can often be a breeding ground for these distractions. You encounter seemingly convincing information that can take root in your mind, influencing your reality. This is especially apparent in the world of conspiracy theories. While some might have a kernel of truth, Many are elaborate constructs rooted in biases at times at fee. Us like the world is engulfed in madness, especially in the political arena, acknowledging that some extraordinary events or conspiracies might exist is important. But getting lost in these theories can be dangerous. Our goal is to embody a state of presence, moving beyond the unconscious patterns that dominate the world. Fighting these patterns on their own level is futile to bring about real change. We need to rise above the chaos and embody a higher level of consciousness. Choosing positive thoughts is a commendable first step, but we need to go further. Delvi, nung into a space that transcends even thoughts themselves, exploring what lies beyond thought, naturally reduces the hold of negative thoughts on our lives. Inner presence strengthens over time, and with it the beauty of spontaneous positive thoughts becomes apparent.
A significant part of our consciousness is freed from the endless chatter of the mind. This shift toward greater presence fosters a deeper appreciation for life experienced directly in the present moment. Gratitude plays a key role in this transformation. It's more than just appreciating simple tea. Hings, it's about developing a deep sense of appreciation for everything around us, which further strengthens our presence. Gratitude is a powerful tool on our journey, helping us see the beauty in things we might otherwise overlook. It's not just about saying thank you. It's about engaging with life through a lens of presence where everything is imbued with value, enriching our spiritual journey. Initially, gratitude may feel like a practice, but over time it becomes a natural expression of our being. Gratitude takes on a companion role, guiding our attention toward as something beyond the realm of thought. For many, the journey of spiritual practice and self-realization starts with a deep realization of being trapped in negative thought patterns. This moment of awakening marks the beginning of a profound journey. It involves recognizing the predominant thought processes that have shaped aped our lives and understanding how these thoughts influence our perceptions. This realization marks a leap in consciousness, signaling the emergence of awareness within us as we awaken to the nature of our predominant thoughts. A new awareness unfolds. We move from being entangled in our mental landscapes. To becoming observers of them, this shift goes beyond the simple distinction between positive and negative thinking. It's about understanding the profound impact of our thoughts on our perception of reality. This heightened awareness, this new presence serves as a catalyst for spiritual growth. It's the first step on a transformative journey toward a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world. Embracing this awareness initiates a shift in consciousness paving the way for a journey that transcends the limitations of habitual thought patterns. Presence acts like a light that penetrates the deep, deest parts of our consciousness when we immerse ourselves in the present moment. This presence elevates our consciousness. Beyond habitual thought patterns, presence calls us to fully engage with the now to embrace each moment without the burdens of the past or worries about the future through this immersion our consciousness expands shedding the constraints of automatic and repetitive thoughts that often manifest as negativity in the realm of pr essence we create mental space to observe our thoughts consciously this conscious observation is crucial in breaking negative patterns it empowers us to recognize these patterns before they take root deeply. The expanded awareness that presence brings provides clarity, allowing us to question and challenge automatic thoughts. This is key to breaking the cycle of negative patterns, interrupting the process before these thoughts gain undue power. Furthermore, presence connects us to a deeper source of inner wisdom. By staying present, we access a higher cons. Iwisness that transcends the duality of positive and negative thoughts. This higher state of consciousness helps us understand the true nature of thoughts, allowing us to choose those that uplift and nourish. The mind presence not only elevates our consciousness, but also acts as a natural antidote to negative thought patterns, giving us the clarity and wisdom to navigate our minds with greater awareness and intention. In many spiritual traditions, this heightened state of presence is akin to touching the divine within us. The taste philosophy speaks of the TOA, a natural order and flow that can be felt when we are fully 